How to jump higher without jumping. Welcome and much love, Trav here. We're going to go over how to jump higher, doing everything around jumping. Obviously, you jump a lot. It's going to help, but there's so much more to it than that. So this is the first time that I've dunked on 10 foot in over a year, but I've been able to get a little bit better, maintain my bounce, add some tricks, and actually get up pretty nicely in this session. And I've done it without jumping very much this year. I've only had about six sessions. I've had a couple jumps here and there, but I've done a lot of other things that have helped. And this will give you an idea of not just how to jump higher, but how to be a more well-rounded athlete. Okay, so we're going to go over a bunch of things. And just so you know, we also have a $10 dunk training program, which will give you a good idea of how to make your own jump workouts or dunk training workouts. And I'll throw a link to that in the description down below. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to cover a variety of things in this video, so buckle in. The first thing, how to jump higher without jumping, is it's all in the brain. It's all in the mind. You want to acquire as much knowledge as you can to be the best athlete you can. You're not going to reach your potential as an athlete if you don't have an understanding of anatomy, you don't have a good understanding of physics, you don't have a good understanding of nutrition, right? So it's on you to actually research these things. It's on you to go on Amazon and get some cheap textbooks, get some old editions and order books on kinesiology, order books on physics, order books on nutrition. These are things that I've actually been doing the last year and the last couple of years that has helped a lot because it's obvious. How are you going to reach your potential as an athlete if you don't know exactly how your body works, how the human body works, how it responds to different nutrition, how it responds to different training systems, how it responds to physics and gravity and what deceleration and acceleration is. So one of the best things you can do is go on Amazon, Go look up all these textbooks. You can get old editions for like five bucks. Get them ordered to your house. And even if you're in school, you can afford this. It's cheap. Do some extra homework. It will pay off a lot, I promise you. So I find that to be pretty helpful. There's also, uh, you want also to do some hands on expansion of your knowledge. So, for instance, you're not going to reach your full potential as an athlete just doing jumping and basketball. Like I've done, you're going to want to spend a lot of time cycling, doing long distance running, doing sprint training, doing yoga, a lot of yoga, hot yoga, doing farm work, doing farm carries, endurance type weight training stuff, doing weight training, doing explosive training, doing endurance weight training, isometric training, right? You want, you're not going to reach your full potential without understanding exactly how your body works. That means experimenting with a lot of different workouts and testing your limits. It also means experimenting with diet and so on and trying out different kinds of diets. For instance, this session was at 12 noon and I decided I was going to fast up until the session so that I would be in a fasted mode. I'm not going to go into exact details of why that is. Uh, I decided that I would eat two chocolate bars immediately before the session so I'd get a burst of sugar. Is that a healthy thing to do? Not necessarily. Does it help me jump higher here? Yes, it did. But I wouldn't know those things if I hadn't both gotten books and studied nutrition but also practiced on myself and tried out different things, right? Also, you're not going to reach your full potential as an athlete, as a jumper, without being able to spend more money on food, without being able to make more money, right? You're not, you can make it if you're poor, it's going to be easier if you got more money. So for instance, a lot of my diet while I've been doing this, which has helped a lot is I've been spending $50 a day on food, $50 a day on food. I'm parked right now at Metropolitan Market after this session, about to go order an awesome, awesome meal and gorge for the rest of the day. If that's not attainable for you, then you better get to work and not just work hours, but it's also gonna help you if you either get incredibly good or you study entrepreneurship, you study business and get an idea of how to get well paid because you're not gonna reach your potential as an athlete eating shitty food. It's just not gonna happen. Forget your macros, okay, that matters, but what matters a lot more is high quality food, good ingredients, and having an idea, and well-rounded nutrition and eating a lot of different good ingredients, right? So all that stuff will help. Um, let's see what else. I think those are those are the important keys that I want to share with you. Is it's really about a lot more than just jumping high, but expanding your knowledge. And I want to add also sleep. Like you should know about good sleep and be getting high quality sleep. And uh, there's other things like things 
man, there's so much knowledge. A lot of it is just is just reading and learning. Like things you can do to boost your testosterone. There's a lot that goes into that as well, and that applies to a lot of different things that we could go into that we won't. But you know, cold water immersion, surfing, jumping, cold showers modulating your masturbation affects testosterone there's so much knowledge that you can add certain diets you know getting enough vitamin d and stuff like that will either boost or lower your testosterone and allow you to to gain it's just so much knowledge right that's the key i want to instill in you here you think you don't get enough sleep it's okay you operate on lower sleep your hormonal balance is going to be off you're going to have extra cortisol it's going to waste away at your muscle give you belly fat it's going to your insulin is going to be all off it's going to make it hard for you to to jump your highest right so the the main the main thing to jump higher without jumping is just expand your knowledge all around read more order more books on the subjects read more practice more, try out different things, get yourself in a better financial position so that you can do more sorts of athletics and have a healthier lifestyle and be able to spend more money on food. Those are some keys. Um, again, we have a $10 dunk training ebook or uh, sorry, not ebook video, uh, video course. And you should check that out. There's a link to that down below. One more thing I wanted to add that goes with the knowledge is like, no, the physics of and everything adds up to knowing how to jump higher, but also knowing how to land softer. Haven't talked about landing, but you can see from this video, for the most part, my landings are very bouncy and good. Not all of them, are, there are a couple that I would say are, are poor, but just understanding and having a better idea of landing and the physics and the mechanics behind that have helped me be more confident to jump higher without fear. So um, hope you find all that stuff useful. Let me know, leave a link in the comments. Also go ahead and make sure to follow me on Instagram. Travis D. Wu, check me out down below. So appreciate you. Much love. Hope you find this useful. If you have any questions, comment them down below. Peace.